Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to try to show you how to use corners on a plate that you've created. Here's the corners that I want to use. I want to use these first four. I know they're not the best symbols for those, but you run out of great symbols. So it's the exclamation point, the quote, the pound symbol, and the dollar sign. So we can kind of remember that I want to do it probably in that order. This would be the upper left, the upper right, lower left, and uh, lower right. Okay, so get rid of that thing. I'm going to go to the engraving program. Bring this up a little bit here. And I'm going to make a plate size that's about six by, well, I'm going to make, oops, I'm sorry, make that six by six. And for this example, I want to go number three. I'm going to make a 0.25 margin, number four equal, five equal, six equal. Now, what I'll probably do is, this is where I'll enter my text. So I'm going to enter my text, but maybe my first line of text is nothing going to be nothing but some space bars. And then my second line of text, and my third line of text, whatever that is, fourth line. And then my fifth line may also be some space bars. So if I hit escape and edit, you can see I have three lines of text in here and I've got a blank at the top and bottom so that I can move this around. Now, another thing that I might have done, I'm gonna hit the space bar. I'm gonna change this maximum width number three. I'm gonna change that to 4.75, enter, and then just hit three in the equal key three and the equal key since it remembers that other entry and three and equal that way I can't go beyond my borders that I've set up because if you remember in the plate layout I made them just a quarter of an inch and I'll show you the reason why now I'm going to switch it to manual layout control P and I'm going to go T for text and I'm going to enter and right now I'm going to make my baseline uh, I'm going to say 0.75 inches and num number f 5 I need to load a font, font Alt um, C to get to corners that's 24 I'm going to hit the space bar because that's my font of choice number 4 I'm going to make it 0.75 high enter so what I want to do is I want to put the first one in which is going to and I want to make this uh, left aligned so it's 0.75 high 0.75 from the top and the first one I put in is space bar and the exclamation point hit enter now I want to put the second one in which is the quotes I'm going to use the exact same baseline but I'm going to change it to right aligned and this time I'm going to put in the quotes and hit enter. Okay, now it becomes a little bit tricky, but I want to go all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to put in a number bigger than 6. So I'll just put in 11. And it says the value you entered is, is too large. So this is as big as you can go. And I am this one uh, because I want to use uh, the pound sign next. I'm going to change it to left adjusted and that's going to be the pound sign shift 3 and enter and then what I'm going to do is go number 2 go right and the last key was the dollar sign and then enter escape and edit and then this is what you ended up with now I'm going to try to import a graphic of about what what this looks like because this is a big plate um, I should have made this this line size is a little bit bigger but anyways you'll get the this is the most important part that you've done here and of course save your work and uh, see how it comes out if you have any questions you can email me the job and I can set them up for you